I think I should define what I mean by the word universe. Because as scientists use that word, it does not mean everything that there could possibly be, which is more like the English version of the word. What scientists mean by uh, the universe, or our universe, or observable universe, is everything that we could possibly observe by any conceivable means, and anything that could possibly influence us in any conceivable way. So if we can't see it, we can't be influenced by it, then we're not going to consider it to be part of our universe because science can make no intelligent comments about something that we can't see or be influenced by. So let's see what this means from a practical point of view. Uh, here is the Earth at the center of our observable universe. The universe is about 14 billion years old, and light travels at 671 million miles an hour. So in the entire age of the universe, light has had an opportunity to travel a certain distance. It's not an infinite distance. It's a very large distance, I'll grant you that, but it's only a certain limited distance. Anything that's further away from us than that, we can't possibly have observed by now because light hasn't had enough time to get to us from there. So this green arrow is how far light can have traveled in the entire age of the universe. It's not a scale drawing. And everything that's in this circle, and in fact it should be a three-dimensional uh, ball, is something that we could in principle observe. We might need a bigger telescope, maybe a telescope the size of the solar system, but in principle we could observe everything that's within that circle because light has had enough time to reach us from anywhere inside that circle. So this galaxy uh, to the right and this galaxy to the left, these are all within our observable universe. The galaxy to the far right is not. It is simply so far away that light hasn't had enough time to get to us from there. Now, as Einstein uh, taught us in special relativity, nothing goes faster than through space than the speed of light. So there's no influence, there's no signal, there's no effect that can possibly have reached us from a distant galaxy on the right that could possibly have any influence on our Earth at this time. Maybe one day it will, but it can't have had any influence as of now. It's just too far away, the light can't have reached us. So by that definition, this object all the way to the right is not in our observable universe. Now, this definition obviously is uh, centered on us because we're seeing the same distance in all directions. So astronomers in a different galaxy would have a different observable universe. Uh, they might be able to see things that, are, that we can't, and they might not be able to see things that we can't. So their universe would be different. Do we believe that there is something beyond the limits of our observable universe? I think every cosmologist would believe that there is. What is it like? Probably we would say that it's the same as what we see in our universe. But since we can't observe it, and we can't be influenced by it in any way, we can't be sure that this is correct. We can't be sure that there's not something out there that's very different than what we see in our universe. Maybe even something sinister. <laughs> but as we'll discover when we talk about the expansion of the universe, the space between us and whatever monster might be out there is growing faster than the speed of light. And so what's ever out there beyond the edge of our universe probably has no chance to get to us ever.